welcome back to Memphis Wrestling, and it is time to talk to a trio that is none too pleased. Ladies and gentlemen. Dustin, I'm furious. You I, had Teddy Long come out here at the Saturday. Hey, 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 put your grind bit on. This is my TV time, OK? You lost the belt. I can't do everything for you. Microphone boy here doesn't have anything to do with it. Do you understand me? This loss is on y'all. I can't do it all for you. You got to rise up and do the work for yourself. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, we get it, Uncle Mikey. Bradley, go handle your match. Go Uncle ahead. Mikey, you're up next. I'm up now. Up I'm, now. I'm yeah. On commentary. <laughs> Better get it together. We got. No, big wait match a minute. Wait a minute. Right no, no, hell no. I already said that I have to approve this before Hello, somebody Maria. says, "Are you back?" I sure am. Oh, you better be. I am. I know you missed me. You've been sitting too close to me. Wait just a second. The Skimmerhorns have Dustin, taken over the broadcast position look, again. I'm about to quit. I told you it had to be approved. I am not well, that you, bad. Come can, on can now. I don't even know if you can quit. I can do whatever I want. Well, oh, my gosh. Man, Dustin can handle this if you well, want to go. Well, you just wait and see <laughs> who Uncle Mikey is up against today. I don't think you guys are going to be happy about that either. Uncle Mikey ain't happy with either of you. Well, yeah, I see that. I'm not happy with this either. What, don't look at me? Pay attention to Uncle Mikey. And well, I'm... Next, his opponent from Memphis, Tennessee, weighing in at 250 pounds, Big Swole, Justin Cole. Big Swole, Justin Cole is here to do one thing and one thing only, Skimmerhorns, and that's beat up Uncle Mikey. Not happening. I, it might happen. It's not gonna happen. It might. I'm singles, telling you, it won't. Singles competition right here on Championship Wrestling from Memphis. We still have women's division action right here today. And then also the best of the best challenge. And don't you dare forget, They're Joe the wrong is hand. here. Tiger Joe is here, and he's gonna come out here in just a bit. I hope he does. That's not very smart. You're poking your finger in Big Swole's chest. And then you basically test his strength. Come on, Uncle Mikey. Might want to might want to have a chat with Uncle Mikey over there. What are you guys even doing out here? I know. I told you. You never don't again. belong at the broadcast desk. Well, hey, when we're on the commentary, the ratings go up, Dustin. You know this. Oh, is that true? Yep. People love the skins, and you know it. If, it, if, it, if it, they love it, they love to watch it be a train wreck. That's what they love. Hey, okay? the Memphis fans talk about it so much. You know, I know they love us. We live rent free in all of their minds. I get it. Well, I'll tell you, action is in the ring, and Uncle Mikey is not looking too yeah, good. He sure is looking good now. Look at well, Big Swole. He broke his foot. Yeah, he did there not you go, Uncle Mikey. Oh, my goodness. What is this, the Three Stooges or something? Uh, Look at those worse. guns. It's worse. Uncle Mikey, roll through. I will say that Uncle Mikey's hair lives rent free in my head. I am not going to lie about that. You know, Albert picking... Einstein is his great grandpa. I don't know if y'all know that. <laughs> you told me that the last time. When big I hip toss. Forbid you to be out here, and you keep coming. And a you body laugh, slam. You think I'm funny, Maria? I get it. Oh man. Maria, you can argue with Brett, Brad all you want. I'm gonna call the action in the ring because I love nothing more than to see Uncle Mikey in big trouble. Oh no! <laughs> and a backdrop. <laughs> Uncle Mikey stays in trouble. You should see Brad and Briar at the desk, literally pantomiming and trying their best to help their uncle in the ring. <laughs> He's not looking too good, but I got 100% faith in him. Oh, is that right? That's I'm sure you've got your, your oh, eye on this match. Yeah, look at this. Look at that, I told you. Very nice, I told but... You. Okay, that was pretty good nice. Good counter, but Big Swole <laughs> eats the steel pulse real hard. He did. That's what's up, Uncle Mikey, that's what's up. On that shoulder. He's gonna get him. Lining him up, measuring him up. Wasting you a little it. time okay. here. Okay, okay. And he's caught. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uncle Mikey, are you the okay? The hardest part of the ring, other than the steel pulse. There's Don't pay Big attention Swole. to me, Big Swole. Pointing back at the stinker horns. I would agree. Dustin? It is a mistake Excuse to pay me. attention to us. The skimmer horns here at the desk, Brad and Briar, former. Oh, gator feet. He got like him I with gator feet. It was wow. a mistake. It was a mistake. Gator feet I to the end. We've got a. What in the world? <laughs> we've got a guest out here. We sure do. Mike Anthony runs the stinker horns from the broadcast booth. Hey, yeah, absolutely. Have a seat here. Anything's better than the skimmer horns. As long as you're vaccinated. I don't know if I would ask him that, but. Uh, <laughs> I don't know either. Have a 
a seat. Well, scared. there's no seat, so you can. Here, actually, yeah. you can have mine. <laughs> Maria's giving her seat away. There is action in you the ring. Uncle Mikey is handling okay. business in there with Big Swole. But now you have both skimmer horns at ringside. And Mike Anthony, are you out here to watch Big Swole's back? Just watch it. I can care less about Swole. They got to put that microphone to your face. Well, like I said, I could care less about Justin Cole. I come out here to just watch. Because, see, we obviously have our eyes on the same prize. So I'm just out here doing a little scout work, if you will. Well, well I tell you, you scared him right to the ring. So you're going to have to keep a close eye on him, that's for sure. I mean, whether you're scouting for tag team competition or if you're scouting, like you said, you wanted to be the Memphis Heritage Champion, Dustin, I told you before, there is no team. There's only me. Cole's a big boy. He can watch his own back. That is true. Big Swole is a big boy. He can watch his own back. But here you are at the broadcast booth, seemingly watching his back, as Mikey scales the top uh -oh. rope. Uh -oh. oh, my goodness. Look at the power. Look can he get strength. him? Dead lifts him up. Of Got course him. he can get him. What in the world? What the heck is Brad and Breyer doing? I don't know, but we're Look seeing too much of this man. The strength. Come on. Uh, cheater, Breyer. cheater, pumpkin eaters. With the assist. What? The numbers game. Cole's got to have his eyes open in every direction on this numbers game. That is Look the voice of Mike Anthony, the self-made uh -oh. savage. He's here ringside. Well, He's at the broadcast booth. Big swole oh. slam. That's got to oh. be it. And it is. Well, well, well. Ladies and gentlemen, you're going to the match. Big swole, Justin Cole. And attacking after the match here, Mike Anthony leaves the booth. Now he's got Big Swole's back. Big victory for Big Swole. Mike Anthony to say that there is no such thing as a team between him and Swole. He sure did hit the ring pretty quick, didn't he? He sure did. And you know what? I think he's so self-centered that he don't even know what a team is. Skin of horns are scattering like a bunch of cockroaches when the lights come on. And there you have it. There's the stare. Big Swole and Mike Anthony. This isn't over between them and probably not the Skimmerhorns either. Fans, more Memphis wrestling still to come. Stay with us.